All those votes are coming in today on top of the literally hundreds of thousands who voted earlier over the last week and a half or voted by mail. And the Erie County Board of Elections has been busy getting them counted up. Two on your side, Dave McKinley is live with one of the folks in charge there tonight. Hello, David. Hi, Mary Ellis. As we reported last hour, or when we reported last hour, we said the number of absentee ballots that had come into the Board of Elections in Erie County was approaching 80,000, an updated number. It's now closer to 81,000. Of course, remember, they won't start counting those until two weeks from today. Joining us more to talk about it is Republicans Elections Commissioner Ralph Moore. Now, Ralph, I was here when I saw the last batch come in. You didn't have to go out in the mailbox out front to <laughs> fetch them. They were brought to you personally by a postmaster. What's that all about? Well, it, uh, it revolves around the security of the ballots. Uh, the Board of Elections personnel either goes directly to the post office and picks up the ballots. And the arrangement that we have with the post office is that they've conducted a sweep of their facilities and will be bringing us ballots uh, during the course of today. Okay, so uh, of course, remember, as long as they're postmarked by today, they'll still count, so we would expect more to come in. Okay. Now, on top of that, almost 168,000 early voters and when you combine the two, now we're approaching nearly 40% of registered voters in Erie County apparently exercise their right even before the polls open today. Uh, but something about the number in Erie County that you were telling me about a short time ago in terms of how we stack up in other counties in the state. Right. We had the most uh, early voting sites of any county in the state of New York. And we were second in the number of people that came out and exercised their right to vote early. Uh, we only lost out to Staten Island. And it was only by a few tenths of a percent. All right. Now, we were talking, and Mary Alice had mentioned the special uh, the election in the 27th Congressional District. We had the same two uh, foes squaring off right. there, Mr. Jacobs and Mr. McMurray, in June during a special election. In June, we still had COVID. In June, we had early voting. In June, because of COVID, we had a lot of absentee ballots. And I've always been curious, uh, did that provide you and your staff with almost a dress rehearsal for tonight? Well, Commissioner Zellner and I made a decision a month ahead of the state of New York to allow for mail-in ballots. And that allowed us the procedures to set in place to make sure that people didn't double vote and to set the procedure in place so we could have an accurate vote yep. and record them. So it helped us out greatly. We had, running three elections, we had about 200,000 ballots that we sent out in that primary. Okay, and in that, uh, in that congressional district, New York Congressional 27th, McMurray Jacobs race. I understand there are 27,000 absentee ballots in that one that have that's, come in. That's correct, and they will not be counted tonight, so there's still a potential of swing at 27,000. And, and that's just Erie County, 27,000? That's just Erie County. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, that's eight counties, that congressional district. All right, Ralph, thank you very much. You're welcome. Good luck to you and your staff yeah, tonight. And we'll send it back to you, Scott and Mary Ellis. All right, Dave McKinley of the Board of Elections tonight. Dave, thank you. And if you run into problems at the polls, like if you suspect some frauds occurring or are the target of intimidation, the state attorney general has a hotline that is set up to report any issues. That number is 1-800-771-7755, or you can report it online at ag.ny.gov. The AG says that she's already investigating some robocalls that have been encouraging people to stay home.